Denmark have 5,000 turbines and aim to generate half of their electricity through wind power by 2020. Just about a third of their turbines are owned collectively through individual shareholders. And as an added encouragement for people to invest further, the Danish government last year passed a law to support them. The new law from last year uh, have introduced that 20% of the ownership of onshore uh, wind farms had to be offered to local people living in a distance of five kilometers. And if there's not enough to, let's say, finance, it will be taken over by the remaining part of the local counties. Linetten Wind Farm has four turbines owned by some 900 people. They're almost a decade older than the offshore middle Grunden site between Denmark and Sweden. Here in Denmark, the Danes produce 20% of their electricity from wind. In Wales, it's a different picture. Most of the newly completed wind farms are owned and developed by multinational companies rather than local cooperatives. Wales' latest hill wind farm is Arthwallis, owned by a Norwegian company. The hill flats offshore turbines are being run by RWE Enpower, whose parent company is German. But there are some local ventures in Wales too. Three turbines above the Conway Valley in North Wales were developed by farmers as a business venture and a way of diversifying their incomes. It's got to make a difference to the local economy. There's no two ways about it. If we turn things around, uh, then all the better for, for Wales and for the local economy. Uh, I think it also helps in the planning system itself that people see is maybe they see maybe that there is a there's a big greater advantage to the area where the people have to live with the turbines, of course. John Etherington has just published a book on wind farms. It's already being reprinted, and the former reader of ecology at the University of Wales, Cardiff, argues the biggest folly of wind farms are people believing them to be efficient and capable of supplying enough energy in the future. I mean, if I could erect a wind turbine in this bit of garden here, and if it produced all the electricity that my house needed, and I simply hooked my whole system to that disconnected myself from the public electricity supply, I, life would be wonderful. I would pay no more for electricity. It doesn't work like that. Um, the, the electricity is not there continuously. His arguments have supporters in several rural areas where some locals oppose wind farms. So far, there are 500 turbines in Wales, but only a handful of community and local groups have been set up. While, in Denmark, if you believe in blade power or not, there seems to be a clear profit in wind energy.